Hi everyone and welcome to today's video session. My name is Thomas and I'm one of the IELTS teachers here at Lango Learning System. These online video sessions are designed to help you improve a certain aspect of one of the four key competences for your IELTS exam. In this case, speaking. We are living in a digital world with the most advanced facilities to improve the quality of our lives. What would you say if you came across a question about the media in your IELTS speaking exam? To unpick this possibility, today we'll be looking at some sample questions and answers regarding the media. Part 1. Where do you usually get your news from? Given the fast-paced development of mass media, I believe that people, especially youngsters like me, often receive information from the two most popular platforms, which are Facebook and TV. All the freshest news is kept up to date regarding every facet of life, such as politics, entertainment, and society. In this answer, there are two phrases that we should take into account. Fast-paced development. This means the rapid progression of something. The freshest news refers to the most recent information. Now, let's move on to question number two. Do you read magazines? Which ones? I passionately read fashion magazines, which help me to keep up with trends across the world. They include a large number of fascinating news articles about celebrities and international fashion shows, which appeal to me. I have two useful phrases here to keep up with. You do something or keep pace with someone or something else. Appeal to someone. It means that you find this thing interesting or stimulating. Do you often read newspapers? Reading newspapers is my daily strategy to become knowledgeable and to absorb more in-depth information. However, I prefer reading a magazine to reading a newspaper because there are many illustrations and eye-catching pictures in magazines. So, I don't read newspapers as frequently as I read magazines. And here we can use in-depth. This means to have more insight into something. Eye-catching means that something is interesting and so attractive that you notice it. In which kinds of circumstances do you usually listen to the radio? I spent almost all my time listening to daily radio news when I was a high school student. Back in those times, it was an extremely nerve-wracking experience to prepare for your entrance exams for uni. So I usually turned on the radio to make me feel less nervous, and to help me focus on something else. Next, I have a question from part two for you to look at. Which program on TV or radio do you often listen to? You should say, what is it? What is it about? Why do you listen to it? And say what you think could be improved about its output. Well, TV shows attract me more than the radio because of the appealing animations that I can see on television. One of my favourite shows is Little Big Shots, which is produced by two well-known comedians, Steve Harvey and Ellen DeGeneres. The first show premiered on March the 8th, 2016, and a new episode airs weekly on Tuesday at 10pm. In this show, children demonstrate their talents and involvement by sharing their own stories with the hosts. The ingenious hosting style of Steve Harvey, along with the sense of humour, crack audiences up the whole time. The show lasts for about one and a half hours. At first, a short video introduction of the kid is played for the audience. After that, the kid will show up on the stage and start a conversation with Mr. Harvey. At this time, kids reveal their special talents to the host. And finally, there's a question and answer session between Mr. Harvey and the kids to discover more about their abilities. Little Big Shot provides me with a lot of enjoyment and relaxation each week. It's never a dull show, and I wouldn't suggest any changes to the format. Finally, some part three questions. Do large media organisations have too much influence? What makes you say so? In this era of rapid technological development, I think media organisations show their dominance on almost all social networks. They exert a large influence on youngsters because their exposure to the internet is getting more and more frequent. And with this, their exposure to improper content is also increasing. For example, 
My little cousins are allowed to use YouTube so early that sometimes they use offensive words that they've picked up from YouTubers when they're talking to adults. What is the most important medium for people in your country? Well, I think media is an indispensable resource for citizens of my age. Social networks allow the young access to unlimited sources of entertainment and ways to socialise. In reality, they offer the fastest way to explore and keep up with the dynamic lifestyle changes all over the world, because these networks require little time to broadcast and replicate information. For example, students can know the changes in their schedule time without having to come to school prior. I hope that you have found this lesson helpful in preparing you for your IELTS test. If you want to sign up for IELTS courses here at Lango, please click on the link below. These IELTS courses are designed to cater to your individual needs and to provide personalised learning pathways. Remember to like and subscribe and please don't forget to hit that bell button to get notifications of our latest video uploads. I've been Thomas and I'll see you next time. Bye.